Africans have uh, 20 more homebound days as part of the lockdown to curb the spread of COVID-19. An online news publication is asking its readers to help each other get through the lockdown by sending recipes of their favorite bakes. Daily Maverick insiders were asked to send recipes to be used while in isolation. They've come up with some interesting titles like uh, No Need Easy Fridge Bread and uh, Factor Baked Beans and the Chocolate Depression Cake. We're going to discuss uh, isolation baking with Tony Jackman, who is the editor of the Daily Mavericks food newsletter. It's called Thank God It's Food. Tony, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. And patently you're suggesting that all of us in lockdown need a new nutrition strategy. Yeah, we do. Morning, morning, Jeremy. Uh, thanks for having me on and Daily Maverick on. Um, yeah, well, you know, my, my situation here... As, uh, I'm in Craddock in the Eastern Cape, uh, so far away from the big cities. But wherever we are, we're in isolation, and, and what we have around us is largely what's in the kitchen cupboards and what was in the deep freeze that can be, be used. And, and also, you know, it, it, it sort of enforces, I suppose, the sort of a minimalism in what we can cook with. So we just have to be inventive and use everything we've got. You write in your piece that uh, maybe the boomer generation, and I would count myself and yourself among that, would be better yeah. equipped to handle this than uh, the millennial generation that has been brought up on Uber Eats. I suppose so. You know, I mean, my generation, I imagine, um, my parents' generation, rather, I imagine yours as well, I suppose, um, uh, were... Obviously, they were lived during World War II because that's why we're boomers, because we, we followed on from that. And, you know, I grew up with, not with rations, because I was born in 1955, and rations in the UK, of course, ended in, in 1954, just one year, just a few months, really, before I came along. And so but the fact is there was a bit of an, an overhang from that in the sense that out in, in Namibia, in a running where when I, where I was born and brought up, um, my mom um, was still very aware of the rations that had ended not very long ago. Um, and, you know, I knew what bread and dripping was, bread and scrape, dripping being the, the fat left over from a, a beef joint that you cooked perhaps the night before, and which would then be um, uh, spread onto bread or, or on hot toast. And also it used for, for example, for frying something uh, that night, or used, used again in your in your cooking and bread and scrape, which was basically there wasn't much to scrape on the bread, so you just took the tiniest amount of either dripping or, or, or butter if you had some, and and made it go a, a lot further than it would normally have done. So let's pick up on uh, the one word that you've used uh, on several occasions, and that is bread. We've all got time on our hands, uh, Tony. So all you need to do is buy lots of flour, packets of dried yeast, salt, and sunflower oil, and uh, you should be okay. Yeah, and in, in a, a lot of simple basic bread recipes require warm water. One presumes we've all got warm water, one hopes. Um, and, 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 you know, obviously an oven to cook them in, and... Well, for that matter, one can bake bread in a, I was going to say, uh, in, a, in, a, in a Dutch oven, and you can even bake bread in a, in a poiki or whatever on the braai, in a pot on the braai. Um, and again, you're using what you've got in the cupboard, uh, using a bit of ingenuity. But another thing, I think, and for me personally, is that I, being in that older demographic, I'm particularly keen to exercise. And for the past... Many weeks, I've been walking an hour every morning um, out when nobody's been out there, and I, I, I can't do that for obvious uh, reasons. Now, it's going to take um, a lot of walking around the kitchen, making things to, to <laughs> catch up on that amount of exercise. But I'll do some extreme gardening as well and, and try to catch up. But that's, that's important for me personally. I mean, for example, I had, I mean, the older demographic, I'm diabetic, and last year I had double pneumonia and it recurred twice. So I spent the whole of, this isn't a wind, I'm just putting, explaining my particular mm. situation and why the exercise really is so important uh, for those of us in, as you put it yourself, our demographic. demographic. And, and to that end, for example, we're seeing this, even though we can go to the shops, um, 
because of because I'm in that demographic with that particular recent history of the pneumonia and all, uh, we're going to do our, the best we can to sit it out at home for the entire period without going out even once if we can. Now that will probably be broken somewhere along the line for whatever reason. But that's the, the aim that we're starting with, even though that's not entirely required, it just seems to make sense. Just keep away from everyone because of that big bogey that you don't want to hit you again. Oh, that, is, that, is good, okay. that is good advice, Tony Jackman. Now, someone's whispering in my ear that uh, you might have had someone in that household bake a loaf of bread, which could be in I, front of you, or was I misinformed? Uh, one sec. <laughs> I'm going to disappear for one second. I'll be back. No. Oh, that's fine. We'll just talk among ourselves, Tony, while you I'm back. disappear. I'm back. <laughs> um, we have a loaf of Diane Kaseya, my wife, Diane Kaseya's uh, uh, bread. It's a very simple. All right, Tony, you're going to have to. Yeah, there we go. We've just removed the strap. So hold it up so we can see it. There we go. All right, walk, us, go. walk us through this Craddock bread quickly. This is um, my wife's recipe, and she got it and made it this morning. I'm just putting it down next to the mouse. Um, I hope the mouse doesn't eat it. Um, it's, 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 it's so, I'm not going to read you the exact recipe, but it, it's, it's, it's a good deal of flour, uh, some cooking oil, yeast, and uh, warm water. And it has two risers, and at which point, after the, after the first rise, it gets divided into, gets put into baking, two baking tins uh, for a second rise. And as you saw, it Clumps up beautifully in the mm. oven. It went in for half an hour at 180, and and, and that's the sort of thing we can do. Just so five... can I talk about chili? Yes. No, no, go ahead. Finish your thought. Finish your thought. Well, Finish your thought. Um, um, okay. But this, this we talk. We're talking in quotes about isolation baking, but if one broadens that to isolation cooking, um, it's about going. If you have a garden and you're growing any kind of vegetables or fruits or whatever you might be growing. Uh, so going out to have a look at what you've got, bring them in and doing something with them. So I went out this morning and I have one chili bush, but it happens to be right at its peak. And so I picked uh, 22 very fresh, crispy red chilies and I got some three cloves of garlic. I got a tin of chopped tomatoes, salt, lemon juice and a couple of gloves of olive oil. And I've just, just before, before now, just made chili sauce, which I know will last probably at least a year, possibly two years, because I've just decanted the last sort of two or three tablespoons of the last batch I made two years ago. So that's something you can do for, let's hope this doesn't last for two years, but it'll last a long time. All right. Baking bread, right. making chili. Uh, Tony Jackman from the Daily Maverick, thank you very much indeed. That recipe, by the way, I think is on the uh, Daily Maverick uh, website, so if you're interested, you can go and have a look at that. And if we have time next week, uh, let's check in with you again. Maybe you can come up with uh, some other interesting uh, food alternatives for us.